Hi, my name is James Shepard, and today I want to talk to you about phone or face-to-face, -face, which is better. So one question I get asked all the time uh, today, twice in consulting calls, I got asked this question, I got asked a bunch by reps, is should I call over the phone to sell merchant services or should I go face-to-face? -face? And I have very specific opinions about this, but I'm going to have to give you basically three kind of different ways we're going to look at this. So the first answer that I'm going to give you is my personal opinion about this question. My personal opinion is that face-to-face -face works best. In other words, if I have an hour to spend and I can spend that hour calling merchants and trying to schedule appointments, or I can spend that hour just out walking into businesses, an hour of walking into businesses, generally speaking, is going to produce better results. So number one, face-to-face -face is better, in my opinion, in terms of just an hour versus an hour, I think face-to-face -face is more productive. But don't stop the video yet because that's not the final answer that I'm going to give you, okay? The next way that I want to answer this is in terms of effort and motivation, okay? The majority of salespeople I have spoken to are actually less nervous about over the phone. So they want to call first, schedule an appointment, and then follow up on that appointment. They're more comfortable doing that, and as a result, they're going to put more effort and more time into doing the phone then going face to face. So um, in that situation, if you're like asking me, is it better if I spend three hours a day on the phone or one hour a day in the field, three hours a day on the phone is better. Okay. It's not three times as profitable. And the problem is you have to know yourself, you know, are you actually willing to get out of your car door, you know, open your door, walk out, walk out, walk into a business where you don't know anybody and actually talk to someone. If you're not willing to do that, but you are willing to get on the phone, then get on the phone. Okay. That's kind of a no brainer. Um, but a lot of people are like, Oh, I got to get out there and get in the field because that's what, that's the most productive thing. James always says that's what works best. Well, forget about that. I mean, it doesn't work best if you don't do it. So it's going to work better if you're on the phone, if that's what you're comfortable doing. Okay. So First thing is, my opinion, face-to-face -face, an hour versus an hour on the phone, face-to-face -face wins usually in that situation. But my second observation is, if you're more comfortable on the phone than you are face-to-face, -face, go phone and then face-to-face. Number three, let's talk about the numbers a little bit. In other words, you know, what numbers should you expect when you're out in the field? So let's start by dispelling a, a, a common myth. And that is a lot of people call me and say, James, I want to sell merchant services over the phone, just entirely over the phone. So I want to talk about those numbers for just a second, um, but that's really not the primary purpose of this video. I'm really talking about phone appointments versus face-to-face, -face. Um, but let's talk about phone for just a second. So if you're calling over the phone, what you're going to find is that if you have a really, really good pitch, you can get a lot of people interested, especially cash discounting. You can get a lot of people interested and get them to say yes. However, you're going to find that a very large percentage of the people who say yes don't fill out the paperwork. So if you're trying to sell over the phone, what I would tell you is number one, it's really hard. Like if you're trying to do the entire process over the phone, it's very difficult. Um, you really have to think through your process very carefully, continuously improve your process. And also the biggest hurdle, if you're good at sales over the phone, is going to be after they say yes, getting them to fill out the paperwork. So I'm not going to get into too much of that. Just that's what you need to expect and understand that. So now let's talk about phone appointment versus out in the field. What kind of numbers you know can you expect? Um, so if you're uh, on the phone, usually if you spend two hours on the phone calling to schedule appointments. Now, when I say calling to schedule appointments, I'm not talking about, you know, um, I'd like to come out and sign you up for merchant services if you're really interested and ready to sign up. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about an appointment like, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, I just want to stop by, introduce myself. I'm a local business owner just like you and just want to drop my business card off and say hello. You know, it's a very general purpose appointment. In two hours, you can usually set between three to five appointments, okay? So three to five appointments in two hours of time if you're calling for yourself. Now, if you're calling for somebody else um, or if you're, you know, it's like a call center, it's going to take them a lot more time. It's a lot harder to call and schedule for somebody else. If it's you, you can be more casual. You know, it's, hey, I want to stop by. It's a lot harder for somebody to say yes to you wanting to stop by. So two hours a day, you set three to five appointments for yourself. You go out in the field and you run them. Um, and again, depending on how you set it up geographically, it could be, you know, some more driving time and things like that. Um, if you're face to face, usually in about two hours, you can walk into about 20 businesses. To 
depending on how interested they are. If they're really interested, it might take a little longer than that. If you get a lot of people just saying no really quick or they're not there, the person you talk to isn't there, it could go a little faster. But about two hours, you can walk into 20 businesses. You walk into 20 businesses, normally you're going to talk to, you're going to have four decent conversations or four contacts. And one of those people is going to warrant further follow up. So it's going to be like, you know, eh, one or two, depending on how good of a salesperson you are, one or two is going to warrant further follow up. So you're normally going to make that, you know, get that one really interested person or two interested people a day, depending on how good you are at sales, um, which is then going to convert into between three to five sales a week. Um, and so, you know, the real trick is, I mean, when you're first starting out, you could literally walk into 60 businesses a day, no sweat. I mean, you really can. The problem is then you have all these follow-ups to do. And if you're out in the field, you got to drive all over the place and walk back in. So, you know, the challenge when you're walking in is um, you have to set aside those two hours a day. So you get those 20 new walk-ins. So you get those four contacts. So you get those one or two people that are interested. Okay. So those are your numbers. So again, to summarize the one today, phone appointment versus face-to-face, -face. Um, you know, again, face-to-face I, I mean, I've, I've worked with, you know, hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands of reps in this industry. Um, I can tell you that hour per hour face to face is going to be better. Um, it just is, it's, there's just no way around it. You're right there. They know who you are. It just works better. Um, but you know, face to face also takes a lot more guts. It takes a lot more energy. It takes a lot more, um, courage, I guess is the right word. Um, and so if that's your case and you're more comfortable on the phone, then phone appointments are going to work great. Spend two hours a day cold calling on the phone. That's going to get you your three to five appointments. Again, make them easy appointments. Just you want to meet with them and then you get out in the field. And again, you can have the same result as if you're walking in to 20 businesses a day. So those are the numbers. Closing merchants over the phone, that's a whole different animal, it requires a ton of work, a ton of like process implementation to make it really smooth so you can close the deal over the phone. Not easy, very, very difficult. Easy to get maybe the yes, but not very easy to get the paperwork done. It's a lot harder to get that paperwork done. So that's the phone versus face-to-face. -face. My name is James Shepard. Thanks for watching and listening.